Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. Today I've got my logbook on my table and a tray of diamonds, leftover diamonds, and that is because I am sharing with you today two completions. Drum roll! <laughs> Ages since we've had a drum roll. Let me show you, first of all, the smallest of the finishes. So the first one we're going to look at is a small yet perfectly formed crystal partial diamond painting. Now, I'll just pull that protective cover up because I have stuck it down with some sellotape to protect the backing of this because it is around and I haven't sealed it. I'm still debating whether to frame this one or not, but look, isn't it pretty? I absolutely love the heart in the middle with those gorgeous special shapes, ABs, metallics, really lovely. The one thing that I wondered about whilst I was diamond painting is this bit here. I was really surprised that that circle is pink in the blue area. There is a pink inner circle here, so I'm not sure whether I should change that out or not. I'm undecided because it does look a little bit odd, but I do assure you that I did use the correct symbol code. What do you think? I think it's so pretty. And I have to say, when I got to about halfway down the heart shape, I did wonder whether to stop and try and translate this design onto a plant pot or a vase or something because I just think it would look beautiful if that was on the front and then the swirls went around and folded around the vase. I think it would look stunning. So I did debate that and in the end I thought no I'll continue the picture but I may in future buy this one again and try and do that. So the tray that I had on my table is because I've already packed down the leftover crystals from this kit into my art dot storage here. So now I have extra packs that will not fit into the standard size rounds. They did fit perfectly when I first sorted them all out. And now I've got some self-seal bags with other colours in. In my logbook, I will go to the finished section and you'll see here that I drew a basic drawing because I didn't have a sticker and I didn't take a photograph. So I just did a very quick drawing to remind me what the picture is. And I've put the date of the finish here and I haven't framed it. And then you'll see over leaf that I've got heart in circles from Amazon, 30 by 30, special shape, metallic and crystal. And I wrote in the comments, partial unboxed for Valentine 2023. Use tweezers, so fun to try and enjoyed the change. Lovely crystals and I like the way the different shapes and colours work together. And that is because I like the way here, for example, there was half blue and half yellow to create that differentiation in the heart. I really enjoyed that. Next comment I made was fun. And then I put able to put on board on my knee rather than sit at the table. So I was able to do this in the lounge watching telly instead of coming in here on my table all the time. And the enjoyment rating, I've put five. I really enjoyed it, made a nice change. Love using the tweezers. I'm definitely going to get another special shape and probably a partial, we'll see. Now you'll see in the logbook right next to it, we have another completion. Let's look at that one now. Are we ready? This one has taken a bit longer than the partial heart. And when you see it, you will understand why. If you've been with my channel for a year, then let's show you. Here it is. 
the zodiac circle, removing the cover. Ta da! This has been a year in the making because if you've watched my zodiac circle series, you will know that I completed each section every month whilst talking about the different star signs. Wow, this finish is so lovely. You may have also seen the short that I did whilst completing the inner circle of the sun and the moon. I did actually wonder whether to do the outside area and I've decided to in the end. I was wondering whether to cut it out into a circle shape but then I realised it may cause more problems if I decide to frame this one so I've left it at it as is and it just gives me more options when it comes to framing. So there it is all complete. If you haven't seen the series, the Zodiac series, there is a playlist purely for this diamond painting. So I really hope that you enjoy that too. So comments on this one. Well, I really like it. It is very colourful. I really like the way that the middle especially has turned out with these rays coming from the sunshine and then the moon rays as well and in between is each star sign depicted. I've said all the way throughout doing this diamond painting that I do wish in some ways I'd got bigger. However, I bought it for the reason of being able to do a video for each section, and I think it would have been too long and too much diamond painting to be able to do that in a bigger size. I may well be tempted to do this one again bigger, with ABs because it is so beautiful. Another observation I'm going to say is that I didn't realise right at the beginning, we started with Aries up here, and I didn't realise at the time that these parts of the segments are actually the elements. So Aries is a fire sign and that depicts the fire, Taurus being an earth sign, so that's the earth, Gemini being an air sign, so that's like a cloudy air, and Cancer being a water sign, and that is water. And I don't know, I can't remember when I realised that, and I started mentioning it throughout the segments. So apologies if you are those star signs that I didn't talk about your element during the segment. Now, another thing I do want to talk about, I have wondered about, is the name of the star signs. I didn't know whether to try and make those a lot clearer. I think you can just about make Aries out, Taurus. I think I'm going to leave it, I think, because with the short names, it would be probably easier to do than, say, Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd be able to fit Sagittarius in there very clearly. And if I made some clear and others not, then I think it might look worse. This looks a little bit like a patterning at the moment. Again, another reason why perhaps to go bigger with this one. But for the size, I think it's got an impact. The colours are really bright. Another thing I considered was rather than leave these edges all solidly in the, it's like a creamy colour, off-white colour, I did wonder whether to add some crystals into these areas at the sides if I leave them diamond painted when it comes to framing. And I wondered whether to pick out, I am a Libra, so I wondered whether to do like the Libra constellation in crystals and then perhaps my rising sign as Leo on this side. And then I've got Gemini as my moon sign, putting the Gemini constellation up here. And then in this one, I always love and look for the great bear constellation in the sky at night. So I may well do that. I haven't at the moment because I only have round crystals. I don't have any square, clear crystals, and I think I would want to use the clear. They're actually metallic. 
do I have many clear? I've got white AB. I think they might be a bit lost. I don't think I've got any clear in the rounds either. So if I decide to do that, as we know, the rounds will not fit in the square diamond painting. So I would have to invest in some square diamonds, square clear diamonds to be able to do that. So that's something else I'm considering in changing up this diamond painting before I frame it. Now, the great news about finishing this one as well, if this isn't enough, is because I kitted up into an art dot container. These are all my leftovers from the diamond painting. Didn't run out of any colours and still quite a few left, especially in that dollar sign there, look. Woo, that was generous. Lots, and that one, which is also this pack here, that tick sign. So the great news is that I can now kit down these and I'll have my spare container for more crystal rounds. So it means I'll be able to transfer these in the packets into this tray here and collect more colours. Hooray! All good news. So let's have a look at the logbook. It's here in the finished section already. This is my green finished. So I started April 2022. That's Aries, so I must have started around then. I didn't make a note of the definite date. And I finished in February 2023 with Pisces. Pisces had to wait a long time for their section. They were very patient. <laughs> Zodiac Circle from Spell Queen. It's a 50 by 50 centimetres, a square diamond painting, and there are no ABs, metallics or crystals in it. Now, if I do add those crystals in the constellations, as I've talked about, I will tick there. And then I will obviously make a note that I've made that change. Working on for Zodiac series of videos, talking about each star sign, personalities, gemstones, gift ideas, pets and more. So that's all I've written so far in here. I will fill this in a little bit once I've had a bit more of a think about how I'm going to approach the end. What I'm going to do, I'm a changing it, I'm a leaving it as it is. And then I will put the enjoyment rating. Now, enjoyment wise, I really enjoy talking to all of you about your star signs. Enjoyment as a diamond painting, um, I would say probably a four. So I'm going to circle four in the book. And I've circled four because I did enjoy the diamond painting. I did sometimes wish there was a bigger size but again as I say I bought this size for a specific reason. So that's the logbook complete. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing the completions of these two lovely diamond paintings which are very different to each other. Please do like, share and subscribe. It's always appreciated. Oh, I should have put my heart there, <laughs> like that. It's always appreciated. Thank you always for your comments. I love hearing from you and I really hope you enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Bye.